What's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back. Southern Farming Cotton Candy Farm. We're down at the pig farm right now, actually. Oh, man. We are taking care of our piggies. We've got so many pigs. I think we're maxed out again right now. I do need to sell a whole bunch off, but uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. We'll see. We're pretty close to max, I think. I might sell them off later on. Also, chickens are doing pretty good. I've got a bunch of... <laughs> Look at the egg wall over there. Ugh. Oh man, so we got the pigs, we got the chickens, I'm struggling just to keep up with all this stuff, in fact, um, let me just get this going here, I am officially out of straw, you can see the flatbed in behind me over there, that used to be full of straw, we got no more straw over there, uh, so we need to deal with that as well, that's going to be something coming up, because I don't think I have any fields right now that uh, are going to give me straw. For our pigs and I'm out so I need to figure out what to do with that I'm gonna have to buy some if I run out we'll see we might have to plant some sooner or later as well so what's going on today well we need a sprayer for our big cotton farm our big cotton field that's it eh? wow all right um, yeah our big cotton field we need to get that sprayed now I've got that little coon sprayer pack uh, basically fits on the Ford or the small the John Deere I don't want to use that I really don't want to use that, so we're going to go and uh, take a look at a couple of our options there and figure out what the best one will be. So, uh, yeah. Oh, didn't mean to start it back up when I jumped out. There we go. Leave that there. So, I'm going to take the uh, the hook lift truck down there, because that might be one of our options. Now, as well, our greenhouses are doing so well. They're covering our operating costs still. That's crazy. Two greenhouses, they pretty much covered themselves the cost for themselves already. That was a good purchase to, uh, to use those here with manure. I think those two definitely are covering my costs. I think I'm break even every time for my equipment repairs and all that fun stuff. So uh, definitely a good idea having those. All right, we're gonna leave the water tank there for now. All right, well, let's head down to the shop. Uh, we'll take a look at some different sprayers and we'll talk about which one I'm gonna go with and kind of why I'm gonna choose that one, I guess. Let's take a look at a few options there, guys. Let's get to work. Bitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. So, like, we've got a ton of sprayers lined up here to look at. Which one should we get? Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite sprayer, guys. I'm curious to know what uh, you guys have been using. But uh, we'll discuss everything here, and I'll let you, obviously let you know which one I'm going to be picking here. But, uh, well, over on the left here, of course, we've got Stara. This is a great starter level, uh, entry level sprayer for sure. The only problem with this one is the wingspan on this one is only 27 meters. It's the shortest of the bunch, uh, which gives it a bit of a downfall on that. It's got a smaller tank, It's but uh, other than that, I mean, it's the wingspan. is only the 27 meters. That's the big problem with that one. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, if we come over here, the Hardy, the, uh, the Rubicon, now this one here still has the biggest wingspan. Still at 48 meters, I believe. So that one's always a contender to me. It's huge, just a huge wingspan. Uh, and it looks a little bit different, of course, than the rest of them. But uh, the problem with this one is it's $500,000. It's so expensive. So uh, that's the one problem with the Hardy. But it's so nice to have that massive wingspan. Now, as we move down the line here, the Amazon we got a couple weeks back. This one's a 41 meter wingspan, which is kind of nice, but the problem with this one, a small tank. I think it's only 4,500 liters, something like that. It's one of the smaller tanks, I believe. Uh, still, a nice looking uh, cedar sp <laughs> sprayer. I do like that one. It's just, it's too bad the, the uh, tank is so small on it. It's bizarre because you'd think, when you look at it, it would have a bigger tank in my mind. I hope that's the one I'm thinking of, but anyways. Uh, the New Holland, coming down the line, standard affair on this one it's a standard size tank it has the standard 36 meter i think it is 36 meter wingspan it just looks a little bit different having this kind of connection point at the front here where the wing the arms spread out from i guess it's somewhat similar to the hardy in that sense but it just looks i find this one looks different uh there's something about this one uh moving down the line well the new john deere of course the john deere uh this one here the interesting thing about this is it's very similar to like the terragator where the back end can disconnect. So we can disconnect the sprayer from the tractor and it can become a separate tractor essentially. Obviously this is the only one here as well with tracks, which is 
a bonus point in my book. I know for some people maybe not so much. But uh, this one has a massive tank as well. I think it's around, I think it's 10,000 liters. I think it's, is it that big? Maybe it's a little less. Um, anyways, it's still, I think it's one of the bigger tanks. And it has the standard 36 meter uh, wingspan as well. So that's always cool. And then we move down, we've got the horse. This came in the horse pack, of course. This one here is a bit of a small tank, a smaller wingspan. This here is a more, uh, you know what, I'd put this in with the Stara. I think that's a very close comparison, those two. Um, and then when we come on down, we've got the Challenger as well. Now, <laughs> this one's very cool as well. Uh, decent size spread on this one. Fairly cheap, actually, this one in, compar in comparison. I think it's around 250000 So I think that is actually, for price point, it's very comparable to the, uh, the Stara, which is kind of nice. But you know what, guys? I think, I really do think, we're going to have to make a decision here. Oh, man. So many options. This is crazy how many we got right now. They are all good, but um, you know what? I'm going with John Deere. We've got mostly John Deere on the farm right now anyways. So I'm curious to see what else we're going to get with this. It has a decent sized spread. So let's uh, let's go with this. I do like the, the fact that it's got tracks as well. Narrow tracks. That is cool. So let's go with this. I hope I can fit this on the flat deck. That's what I'm, I'm really hoping. Uh, only one way to find out, I guess. Let's load this thing up. So as you can see, I can drop the back of this off. Oh, there it goes. And we can get the sprayer off this if we wanted to. That's interesting. I don't know what else. I'm, I'm hoping we get like maybe a lime spreader with it. So as you can see, there we go. Now it's just a bare bones tractor, essentially. <laughs> All right, let's load this up. Come on, I hope you want to load. I hope the tracks are, are going to fit on this. Otherwise, I'm going to put it sideways because I am getting it back there. There's no way it's going to fit. It's going to drive right over top of those. Oh, no, I didn't even think about that. I should have brought my little my flat deck. Oh man, we need the uh, the larger trailer. I don't even know if that one flat deck. That's a wide spread between these tracks. I don't know if that uh, low blo low bed trailer would actually fit this or not. Man, all right, well let's try and load it this way. Is that gonna work? It's not gonna work either. Who am I kidding? Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can just set it there. <laughs> I just want to get this back to my farm without having to drive the thing because it's a little bit slow. All right, what do you guys think? What are the, what's the over under on this working? Oh man, come on, get up there! <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, this is a typical clutch shipment. Um. I left it on. I forgot. I'm like, oh, this thing's running. No, it's the uh, sprayer. Ah. All right, we'll shut her off. What do you guys think? Well, the <laughs> that's a win in my book. I can't believe I got it up there. Let's see what happens next. Can I get this back to the farm? <laughs> I did not plan that out. Uh... All right, truth be told, it did fall off. I wasn't lucky enough to get it to here the whole way. <laughs> I came around one of the corners and it just kind of dumped it out. Uh, man, not a huge surprise that that happened, let's be honest. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, fill this thing up. Now, we need to get a little bit of fertilizer. We're only first stage fertilizer on that big field, so... Can I just pull in this way? No, I gotta back in. I was gonna say, would it be that easy? Of course not. All right, so these tracks look fantastic. These are great. All right back right up against our fertilizer there we go so it's a bit of a smaller tank it's not massive I think we're 6500 something along those lines um, it's still decent it'll it'll do it's the same size as like the hardy or anything else the tank sizes between all of them are fairly comparable it's not until you get up into like the terrigators or uh, what else oh yeah the hook the hook lift to sprayers that you're gonna get some massive amounts um, the new case with that thing has got a huge tank on it. If you guys have seen that, uh, this case, uh, I can't remember, what is it, the 4525, something along those lines? That has an absolutely massive, and that's all for, that's for hard fertilizer, seed, or the uh, pellet fertilizer, but that has got a massive tank on it. But uh, this one here, eh, it's a mid-range size, but I think that should still be enough to get us through that big, fer that big cotton field, and that's all we needed to get it done. Oh, it looks good, though. I do love the tracks. 
narrow tracks. So I was off a touch. 10,000 liters. Wow. That's a little bit more than I was expecting. All right. Let's unwrap this thing. We're burning daylight here. We're down into, uh, what, 5.30. Yeah, we got to get this done. Get our beacons on. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Fire this up. All right. And away we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> uh, what kind of speed can we do on this thing? Holy smokes. We can just rip doing this. This is going to take us no time at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to slow down there uh, just to do the corner because I wasn't sure I was going to make it. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't even need to worry about fast farming with this thing. Look at that. All right, so uh, we're missing a titch down here, but not much. So we'll come and do a quick pass on the way by. But wow, that's fast. Yeah, we can do 35 kilometers an hour. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Looks like I've gotten this twice in some spots, but that's all right. Wicked. All right, well, this is going to take us still a little bit down on the far corner, just because this field is, like I said, it's massive. But, uh... <laughs> uh, I'm going to wonder if this thing gets that dirty. That's my next question. We'll see. Look at us just go here. Holy. Man, this is crazy. This thing is just moving. Uh, how are we looking on the side there? It's so tough to tell in first person if we're centered or not. I'd almost have to fire up the GPS mod. But, uh, yeah, you could just kind of move through this pretty quickly. <laughs> I think I'm definitely missing a little bit. That's all right. So we will finish off this. Eh, not bad, not bad. You know what I just realized? I don't have that lowered yet, do I? Let's lower that down to get a bit of a better better foot on that. All right. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit left to do, of course. Like, this is a massive field. Uh, even with this sprayer, I'm so glad we got this rather than trying to use that tiny little sprayer we got. But it's still going to take us quite a while. I just want to get it done before the night. I might hire a worker. i got another project I want to work on still tonight. But uh, look at this thing. Ah, it's so good. So this here, actually, you know what? I could have joined these fields, too. That's the cotton field right there. Oh, I went too far in. I just noticed as well. Okay, we're down to, we've only used 15% on this. That's quite good for a sprayer of this size, I'm thinking. Alright, should be good. Perfect. Make sure I don't run into that fence line. I think we're good. Alright, we're going to finish off this field. Like I said, it'll take us a bit. I'll get a worker going on. But uh, we've got some more projects to work on to before the day is through here. Uh oh, watch out for that tree. Alright, so not bad timing at all. This is uh, pretty quick. This is get the job done on this massive field. Didn't take me very long. I like it. Looks pretty good. Look at that thing go. Let's zip around this last little spot there. And that is going to be it. Let's see if we can fold this back up. There we go. And uh, we can turn those beacons off, I guess. We don't need to have those flashing away anymore. But not a bad unit, guys. This thing's pretty cool. I am liking this. As far as sprayers go, that is a lot of fun. Now, I'll take anything with tracks. I don't know what it is with me in tracked units, but I do like having anything with the tracked, uh, the tracked variant. Oh, don't go inside the shop. There we go. Cool. So we used half our tank, roughly. Uh, we've got another couple fields to do, but I don't think I'll need that much fertilizer. I'll worry about that. I'll even leave it out here. We'll do it in the morning. But uh, I've got another project I want to work on, and it's over at the pig farm. Let me see if I can just leave it right here. I'll fire this down. Man, that's good. That's so good. Ladder comes down. Perfect. Uh, let's go work on my next project. Let's go over to the pickle farm and take care of that next. All right, so like I said, I want to make a quick change down here. Uh, pigs are happy. I'm happy with how that's working out. What I'm not happy with is this back here, the chickens. It, this is a failed project, guys. This didn't work for me. Ah, uh, man. If I could get 
placement all the way against that back wall, that might be okay, but the fact that I can't, uh, it won't let me place anything behind it. I kind of got lucky with where I was able to place this building. Like, I can't place anything behind the greenhouses here. So, I need to move this. So, to do that, I need to start by, well, getting rid of all the eggs. And we're going to sell the chickens off, to be honest with you as well. But, uh, this is going. We're making this disappear. This is going to turn into, I think, a hay storage area, to be honest. We'll see what happens there. i got to find the right, uh, the right shed to put in there. But look at all the eggs i got to get rid of. Oh, man. Let's see if I can drag some of these off here. Boom. Perfect. Grab a couple of these bins. Oh, come on off. Come on off. Ah. All right. So, in theory, I'm pretty sure we can just toss these in like that. Can I pick up, like, three at a time? <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. No, that's not going to work. Anyways, I'm going to try and fill these up, and uh, I'll show you what I got planned for the next portion of the chickens, because it is going to be fun. Let's see. Oh, yes, we got a couple in there. Actually, you know what? Watch this. See if I, this will work. I'll just drop this here. Oh, that'd be too easy if it did that, didn't it? Get in there. Get in there. All right, so we got a few eggs to go sell, but we'll worry about that in a second. Uh, I want to go show you what we got planned over here, guys, and you can kind of see it up on the right here. Now that little farm we had there, the chickens we had on that one, that was hobby level stuff, right? That was nothing, that was just there because it could be there. Well, things are about to change here in <laughs> Marigold. Um, we're the king of cotton right now, we're also going to be the king of chickens? Yeah. Let me just pull this over here and stop that for now. So, we've got, well, one so far, but we're going to put a bunch more of these down right away. Um, this is an interesting chicken coop. I really like this one. So you can see we've got our feed right there. You've got like this inside parking area. Uh, our chicken purchase area is right here, which I could purchase some right now because we sold all the other ones. And eggs are going to show up right here. Not bad. You've got opening doors on both ends. This is a very cool, uh, very cool. Is this actually, pick I don't think that's right, is it? I don't know if this is actually food I can use or not. If it is, that'd be even better. Anyways, let's uh, place a few more of these down. I want to put uh, several down this uh, this alleyway here. And we're going to see how many chickens we can get going in this place. So down to our animal pens. So we have a couple of different options for, for other ones. Chicken coos. This one was the free range chickens. That's what we had. Uh, we also had the large chicken coo right here. This is the one. I think we had this one on Michigan, to be honest. Uh, this one is the modded one. It was in the mod hub just the other day. But the one I'm looking for is right there. Let's see. Look at the size of that. So you can see actually now our pig farm, that's all been taken out. We'll be working on that very soon. But uh, I wanted to get this going because this is great. All right. So I want it to face the opposite direction. Like that. Let's see if I can push them together fairly close. Just enough to get a tractor in between the two things. And you want to make sure they're kind of level so it looks like they're... Boom. Okay. And we'll put another one in this way. And this one here is going to be a bit wider because we do need to have access into that, that door on both sides. That'll be the access one. And put that there. Flip what's around 180 degrees. This one doesn't need to be quite as wide. We shouldn't need to have access to it. Boom. All right. <laughs> there we go, guys. We got Chicken Alley. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, and then right here is our cotton field. That's our cotton field right there. So it's right on the back side of our farm, so it's not too far when we need to get equipment down here. I need to obviously clean up. I mean, this is all sugar beets. We're not going to worry about that. But uh, look at all the chicken farms we've got going on here. Ooh, that's going to be an interesting mess i got to fix there. Ah, that's too bad, too, because this is the main through fair here. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going to be chicken out, you guys. We'll be working down here every once in a while. You know what? Let's, uh, we do need to put one more thing in here. We need some places for equipment. Well, I was thinking about this. Now, I've got a couple of sheds. There was one I was thinking about in particular. Oh, we could go big on this. But uh, let's keep it fairly simple for now. And where is that one I wanted? There it is. 
Just something to keep equipment in for the time being. Uh, keep it out of the way. We'll probably change this up in the very near future anyways. But uh, I just want something simple right there. That's cool. Excellent. So that's going to be that for that. And then we also do need a spot for food. Uh, where is that? It's going to be in miscellaneous. So we'll need some chicken food here as well. I'm not going to be able to, to provide this with food that often, I don't think. Uh, where's the one I'm looking for here? Should be down closer to the end here. There we go. Uh, chicken food station. There we go. And we can put that kind of right here, I think, as well. Oh, we got some editing to do there. Not a problem. We'll fix that up. But now we've got a silo for chicken food. We've got a little storage shed. And we've got four massive chicken coops. Perfect. I <laughs> love it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, we'll work on this next day. We'll see what, how this is going to work out. But I got some eggs to go sell. <laughs> oh, if I don't throw my truck first. I gotta quit doing that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you drop a like, as always. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe. I know, I kind of say that every time, don't I? Um, other than that, we'll see you next time. Ah, this is so good. I can't wait to dive into this. We'll see how many eggs we can get out of this place. Awesome. Alright, guys, have a good one. Talk to you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.